Hey guys, B-Man here. How are you guys doing today? Today, we've got an awesome one for you guys. We finally got into the Act 2 Shepherd mission and I've got it completed and I've got a way for you guys to be able to complete it and keep all the money in your tombstone and stuff like that. Say you've got recipes you want to share and some money in your tombstone and you want to be able to do the Act 2 mission and without having that lost, okay? That is what this is for you. Now the downside to this is you're not going to be able to have perks on that mission in the Shepherd mission when you do this. You're going to have to do it with without perks but with that said get down there smash that like button for me subscribe if you're not already leave me an awesome comment and let's get straight into how to do this guys now for this one this is not going to be solo and you're going to need someone else to be able to help you do this okay if you have a tombstone go through and loot up your tombstone and first off you want to be you want to drink tombstone perk and you want to go into the act mission holding all the items that you want in your tombstone guys okay this for this one you're not going down before before you go into the act mission you're actually going to be going down in the act mission okay so for that reason you need to be holding all the items that you want in your tombstone next game when you're in the act mission at the start of it okay now you can use those items during the mission and stuff like that like you'll see in this video but just so you know you do need to be able to take all those items into the act mission what this means is you can go into the act mission and you'll still have like you see here we got over three hundred thousand dollars and i'll still have a tombstone with over three hundred thousand dollars after this act mission which is the main thing that people are worried about are they're worried about losing their money so for this reason this is going to be really handy for the majority of you so with that said make sure you get down there and you smash that like button for me now as you see we're loading in with all of these items that we want and how we want our tombstone to be with the recipes and all sorts guys now fun thing here when we loaded in my other player he glitched out and he got thrown off the chopper and into the water so i had to go and meet him and the funny thing is you can't even run off the chopper at this point he just bugged out so it was pretty funny i thought i should add that in for you guys but you generally should load in together and you'll be able to just do this next part right here on the beach which is all you need to do is just go down so we get our buddy to come over and i drop the items like the kill streak and the ether blade for him to hold while i went down just in case i lost them going down then i went down and i bled out and then i plead okay so you want to go down and bleed out and plead after having when you have tombstone perk active obviously and what this does is this sets your tombstone for the next game okay guys but for this we do not close app at the end okay so what we've done here is we've drunk tombstone perk and we've gone down and now the items that we're holding on us are the items that are going to be in our tombstone next game our money and everything so we can use all of those items from this point at this point we could drop these items for our friend he could then be holding them if he had drunken tombstone perk and he had the perk active he could do the same thing go down and then he too would have a tombstone with all these stuff we could have, drop him the money and he would also have tombstone perk with all the money as well and you guys could both have a tombstone with all those items and that stuff you could duplicate it between you as long as after that he said leave game from the in-game menu now as you see after doing this we can go along we can use all these items we can level three pack a punch our gun we can use the legendary ether tools we can go along and we can go along and supercharge this wonder weapon those that don't know how to do this all you do is have it in the second slot the weapon you're trying to supercharge drop your weapons out after calling in uh juggernaut kill streak and with your fists out open the kill streak after the kill streak it'll give you a copy of the weapon that was in the second slot and if that's a, a, a wonder weapon you can supercharge it by using an ether tool to turn it legendary giving it a bonus 300 percent damage value then we can go along and supercharge it and pack a punch it now as you see here we've used all the items out of our backpack that we went down with to set our tombstone we can use the money and everything to help us complete this mission 
and our next game all those items are going to be in our tombstone sitting in the graveyard yes at the b-man community trade center that is where it's all going to be guys so as you'll see we go through this i have no trouble going through and doing this mission solo without any perks so if you've got a friend to help you this is going to be super easy and you'll just be able to breeze through this guys pretty much now with that said if you've got the vr11 and you supercharge the vr11 that's going to make this abomination part a lot easier because as you'll see from this clip here the supercharged vr11 well when it's legendary and pack a punch level three it two shots the mega abomination so that's why also it makes this a lot easier to be able to pull this off with no perks guys now for here i'll show you guys how i end this because that is the key to this you don't close app okay when you complete this mission here what you want to do is you want to say leave game after it gives you the tick for actually completing your mission so you guys will see that it will actually give you the this mission will be completed and right here where my face cam is normally in the screen will come up and it will tick saying that you've completed the act and it will come up to the other one before the cutscene comes in before this white screen so after at this white screen is when you will actually go into the in-game menu and you will leave game like you've seen us do right there from the in-game menu say leave game and then when you come into your next game your tombstone will be at the graveyard with all the items that you had on you and money that you had on you when you went down in the act mission guys okay with the tombstone perk so as you see here we have we go along i uh, re-equip that charm because your 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 insured weapon that you had on you is going to go onto timer when you do this and you'll lose the items on you because you left game but all your items are going to be secured in that tombstone when you load into the next game guys so as you see here i load into the very next game we go to our tombstone and it's there and we still have all of our money we have our recipes and everything all after completing the act 2 mission so you can go in you'll complete the act 2 mission and everything it will count and everything and your tombstone will be right here in the graveyard the next game you can go along you can drop it out for starts or for someone and you can help others out you can continue to drop your money have heaps of money and everything all your items your weapon cases and everything that we just used in that act mission and we've got them again here to go along and do our drops now again this is the community drop drop center community trade center and i highly recommend that you all use this spot especially because even the game default puts your tombstone here a few die anywhere that's not on this map guys or if you die in the water or anything like that but with that said get out there and get it done guys get down there smash that like button for me subscribe if you're not already leave me an awesome comment guys and remember that from the when you've got a tombstone set if you want your tombstone to be there next game just remember just quit app to to leave the game with that said thank you guys for watching my videos and i'll catch you in the next one b man out. Remember, my charm shows you the current date and time of the recording of this video. Catch you guys in the next one. B-Man, out.